Hey, what's going on on Handy Family? This is Nathan, hanging out with you guys tonight. We're live at the Academy of Dance, where my daughter dances uh, four or five nights a week. It has been for a few years. We like it here, she likes it here. Um, my wallet doesn't like it here. Uh, and I don't actually like it inside of there, because uh, dance moms are nuts. Nuts. We'll get into that another time. I don't want to offend anybody. But uh, dance moms are cool and they talk incessantly. Um, so I sit out here whenever it's my turn to take my daughter to dance. And I volunteered tonight. We had a snow day today, which was cool. Um, but these little ladies, they're like, uh, they're like um, mailmen and, and firemen and uh, policemen and uh, women, of course. Um, but they don't, through sleet and rain and snow, a dance and they will go. I think that's, that's their motto. Uh, for adolescent dancers, um, they uh, even if school's called off, even if the roads are an ice rink, we will dance. Damn it, we will dance. Um, so she's in there dancing, and I'm in here not doing anything but talking to myself, which now that I think about it, probably looks fairly creepy outside of a dance studio. Um, but I assure you, I'm not creepy. Because that is what any not creepy person would say. There we go. Got that all clear. <laughs> so yeah, snow day today. Um, storm didn't quite hit like they thought. And it was nasty enough a couple hours ago that I would have thought maybe snow day tomorrow. But that seems to have mostly stopped. There's kind of just a... Uh, thick crust of ice on everything so I'm sure we'll get that cleared up soon and we'll be back at it in the morning but uh, today was nice it was nice to have a bonus day off so the reason I wanted to do this video was to let you guys know um, a little about me those of you who don't know me or those of you who used to know me and we haven't stayed close um, I, uh, I worked in radio for about 14 years and that was a lot of fun uh, gave me a chance to kind of be creative and have fun and entertain people. I was never that great at it, um, but uh, I did all right and I had fun. Um, got out of that business because it's a crazy, yucky business um, when my kids were born. I uh, did the stay-at-home dad thing for a while, uh, which was okay because I like being lazy. Um, and then started my own wedding and uh, event DJ company, which by start company, I just mean I am the company and I DJ sometimes for people and they pay me sometimes. But that's gone okay, I've done some cool things. I've probably done like 100 weddings in my day and that's been fun to be a part of. And uh, then I got roped into working at a school, which I absolutely do not belong at. Uh, that was never an intention of mine. I, I do, I love kids. Um, but I never intended to work in that profession, but here I am. So during the week, I'm a librarian, although it's not really called that, I'm, I'm a media aide. Um, can't be librarians anymore because uh, you have to have a degree for that, and I do not have a degree, so to speak. Um, so I work in a library with um, kids ranging from five to 14 uh, every day. And I like it. Uh, again, I don't belong there necessarily, but I like it a lot. And they've accepted me as one of their own. Um, so I do that during the day. I DJ on the weekends. Um, really, I would like to be an author. That's my that's my dream. Uh, I've written probably 50 books over the past 10 years. Uh, none of them I've finished. Because um, that's part of my... I've got some got some mental issues we'll get to that shortly but uh i've never finished one uh except for this now i have uh, i just finished my first book it's about 300 pages long it's a young adult science fiction book so i'm working on that trying to get that going uh it's at the editor right now so we'll see what happens with that and uh and what else am i doing talking into a camera that's 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 about it so I've got uh, uh, I've got some things, you know, like the like the, like everybody. Everybody's got things. I've got uh, adult ADHD, and 
I've got uh, clinical depression. So taking meds for those, trying to be a little less cuckoo. Um, but yeah, that will, uh, you know, hopefully those things will help me kind of figure life out. I have a lot of good intentions. I have a lot of uh, big ideas, big projects I want to start, big things I want to do. And I've never been able to then follow through. Um, you know, I've wasted a lot of time, a lot of people's time, and uh, it's been difficult. So hopefully uh, you are seeing the, you know, Nathan version 2.0, <laughs> much more sophisticated and mature and uh, ready to take over the world. You know, at 42 years old, I think I'm ready. Um, yeah, and I'm starting by, just so everybody knows, I have, um, I've pegged my pants, not just this leg, but the other leg too. I'd like to, I was thinking in the car, yeah, there it is. I pegged them. I'll get this one up too. Bye bye, I'm double pegged. So, um, and dance mom just pulled up. I had my feet up in the double peg position. And I'm talking to myself, so I probably look pretty weird. So, I'm going to actually play it cool for a second until she walks in. Oh, she might not be walking in. She might be waiting. She's looking at her phone. She might be watching me. The idea of unhandy, unmanly is really just kind of talking. And I'm an average person, and I think there's a lot of average people that aren't great at a lot of things. They go through like pretending, trying to kind of keep up with their neighbors and make themselves look great and shiny. And, um, you know, I guess that's why it's good I'm doing this here because. You see it a lot in the you know, with dance moms that um, it's a lot of trying to keep up with the other people and a lot of you know making sure their daughter's in the most dance classes and their daughter has the best shoes and their daughter has the shiniest costumes and the tightest of tights and it just really doesn't matter. Everybody's got stuff. Everybody's got issues, and I think. I just want to share that with people. I want people, I want their, I want it to be okay for guys to not be super great at fixing things. Because I'll tell you what, my dad, who is flipping awesome, greatest man in existence, um, he was never a real handyman. Uh, and anything he tried to show me, I didn't have time for back then at all. Um, you know, I had, I had grandpas that were, that were handy and, and, and I picked up some things here and there, but I can't, I mean, when something goes wrong at our house, I will try to fix it as quickly and easily as possible. Never the right way. Um, just kind of like plug the hole and move on, uh, quite literally in some instances. Um, we have a leaking roof right now. We have a leaking basement. Um, we have a leaking sink um, that I can't, you know, you just turn the handle on to brush your teeth and water pours out of the uh, handle. How does that even happen? Why is there water up in the handle? That doesn't even make sense to me. I can't, I can't wrap my brain around that one. I don't, uh, that doesn't make sense to me, but I don't do anything about it. Sometimes I'll put a um, washcloth underneath where it drips to catch it. Uh, that's the extent of my fixing. Um, and what was I getting at? I think just there's so much wrong at our house. And, uh, you know, it's time for me to kind of just figure it out. We don't have the money to be paying people to come out every time something bad happens at our house. Uh, so I got to start figuring this stuff out on my own. And, and you're going to come along on the ride with me. And you are going to hopefully watch me talk into a camera into a phone in front of a dance studio, like a creep. I'm gonna look over at this lady to my right and I'm guessing she's gonna be looking at me and or calling the police. You know, she just picked her nose. We're safe over here. So that's that. It's a Wednesday night. That's all I got right now. I just wanted you guys to meet me 
and I wanted to meet you. And here we go. It's going to be a ride. We're going to fix things and we're going to do it together. Like a fam, an unhandy fam. All right. I don't have a sign off yet. I don't really have a sign on either. Like, I want to be like, it's your boy. What up? What up, fam? It's your boy, Nathan. It's your boy. But that doesn't work because I am not 14 or Jake Paul or Logan Paul or any of the Pauls. Peter, Paul, and Mary. Gospel of Paul. Paul McCartney. I'm not any of those guys. Um... RuPaul, Paul Walker, rest in peace. Paul, 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 Paul. I can't think of any other Pauls. Paul Simon, Fran, John, Paul Jones, Pope John Paul. So many Pauls. Paul Stevens, represent. Miss you, buddy. He's not dead. He just lives in England. Um, okay, that's it for now. I'm going to sign off. Have a good night. Here's to another snow day. Peace out.